Hey, is Epiphany around? Uh, she's ER. She's manning the front desk. Oh. Okay. I was just. Thank you. Hey, what are you doing here? There was a bus crash, and the kids were in the bus. Are Christine and Molly okay? Nobody knows. The truck went back to us. We left Port Charles, and we haven't seen anything. We passed five helicopters. Why haven't they found something? Oh, you're right. We're too close to the resort not to have seen anything. We're on the wrong side of the mountain. Story about this trip when we were decorating the tree. I just, I, I thought about going with them. I, I kind of wish I had. I could be taking care of them right now. We have to believe they can take care of themselves. You know, you sure about this? Sandy's diner's on Route 55. How do you know? Because I used to run stuff into Canada for Sunny, and I stopped there a few times. But do me a favor, can you call Spinelli and just make sure they didn't change location? Because right now, it's the best lead we've got. The boys are going to be fine. Wherever they are, whatever they're going through, they're going to be okay. That's right. Because you made up your mind on how that's going to be. And Michael does the same thing. I mean, look at everything he's survived. Kid is resilient. You know, when things go bad, Michael always steps up. That's when he most like you. I'm glad Lucky called. We're not that far from the site. I can't stand the thought of Morgan being out there in the cold with a broken leg. And Olivia, she's only on that bus because of me. God, I hope she's gonna be okay. Please be okay. Boys are gonna be okay, Carl. It's gonna be okay. I. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but Morgan's got a broken leg. Where is he? It does here, Michael. Just went down there. Can you can you get her in the car and get a warm? Yeah. Okay, be, Carly, be careful. How's your leg? It still hurts, but at least I'm warmer. Morgan! It's my mom. Here! Morgan! We're over here! Oh, God. Um. Oh, baby. Are you okay? Yeah. Doctor Weber thinks my leg is broken. Yeah, okay, well, we're gonna get it checked out when we get to the hospital. What about the rest of you guys, okay? Yeah, we're yeah. fine. Christina? Are you okay? I'm just a little cold. Okay, we're gonna have to get her up to the road. Can you guys help her? Yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. There's two cars up there. Just get her in front of the heater as soon as you can. Be careful. Do you know that you saved everybody? If you hadn't called me, I would have never known the bus crash, and they couldn't have started the search for hours. I knew you'd find me. Jason, do you think we can carry him up to the road? I think it's too steep. We should wait for the rescue teams. Can you hang on a little longer? Yeah, I'm okay, Mom. I'm glad you're here. Okay, I'm, I'm sure Jason is with the kids right now, and you have to remember, he's really, really good in a crisis. He's gonna take really good care I of him. I wish you were there, Mom. Yeah, I know, me too. Because if you were there, I wouldn't worry because you would would have taken care of him. You probably would have built a fire by now. Please don't. Thank you. I know, I, I wish you were there with him too. You're their mother. That's what they need right now. I have really amazing children. All three of you. Okay, I want oh, you to tell me you. the truth. What? Do you think I'm being unreasonable if I tell the girls they can never leave the house again? <laughs> Mom, I don't know. They went on a, a chaperone ski trip with your permission. True. I guess they have to deal with the consequences. All right, well, how about if I, I, I just never let them out of my sight and I follow them every day? Oh, I'm glad they have to deal with you and not me. Yeah. Your team's going to be here any minute, okay? You're doing real good, Mom. I was scared before you got here. I was kind of a baby. No. It's scary, okay? Can you tell me what happened? 
I was talking to you on the phone, and I heard this big screech, and everything started bouncing around. Then we, we went sideways. Then I heard this really loud crash. I woke up outside, and my leg hurt really bad. I kept yelling. No one could hear me. I guess I fell asleep. Then I heard Michael yelling, and I thought it was a dream, but it was real. He found me, and he carried me back here and put me by the fire. Michael would do anything for you. But if my leg's really broken, I can't ski all winter. I can't snowboard. And it's going to mess up my karate for months. Oh Morgan, if, when your leg gets better next summer, Jax will take you skiing in Australia. You don't have to promise stuff like that, Mom. I'm not dying. I'm so sorry I wasn't on that bus. I should have been with you. I don't think you could have stopped the crash just by being on the bus, Mom. Okay, so the rescue people are at the side. How, how much longer do you think it'll be before they get here? I don't know. Well, I'm very relieved and grateful, but I, I'm going to feel much, much better when I, I get them here. They're in, in my sight, and I've got my arms around them. 